Hello everybody and welcome back to Beer Buddies. As usual, I'm Whitney. And I'm Senya. And we are actually coming to you from our editing computers. <laughs> so sexy, I know. It's been a really busy week and um, we decided we're going to review the beers while we edit the footage from our other reviews of beers. So hopefully that's <laughs> not too confusing for anybody. But No, no, no we, we will stop, you know, but... We will stop, you know, editing to actually taste these beers and give a fair review. I guess we'll stop and drink beer. I mean, you know, it's kind of hard. Life's hard. With that being said, we should probably go get the beer. Yeah. yeah. See you in a bit. <laughs> The beer we're reviewing today is going to be a beer that a friend of mine brought me back from New York. It is the Captain Lawrence from the Captain Lawrence Brewing Company, um, and it is the Captain's Reserve Imperial India Pale Ale. Um, honestly, I, I don't know anything about it other than the fact that it was a gift. So I, you know, Whitney went ahead while I was pluralizing some research. stuff. She uh, <laughs> she's like, okay, I'll, I'll go ahead and. Uh, you know, well, do some research on it. What's actually cool about it being an Imperial IPA is that instead of the normal IPA, which is, you know, usually something that comes from England, it was something that came from a hop that was located in India way back when. This is the American version. An Imperial India Pale Ale is going to be like a double IPA. So, mass hops. It, we give it some balls, you could say. Um, it's going to have this version. It says on the bottle has five different kinds of hops. Um, it only says three different kinds on the website, but it may just be because they don't want anyone to steal their recipe. Not quite sure about that one. But either way, it's going to have a nice explosive citrus flavor. Um, the guy who actually started this company, it was actually funny, I was reading, he started brewing in high school. Smart guy. Making your own beer when you're not even legally drink it. I like that. <laughs> that. That should be the way to go. Very, very sneaky. All right, anyway. well, let's go ahead and try it. Yeah, let's do it. Do you have your opener? Because oh, I don't I have mine. I know, it's the first oh, time I don't have keys. my beer opener. Doing a ghetto style today. <laughs> <laughs> the old fashioned the key way. opener. Oh. <laughs> well, beautiful okay. color. You should probably hold yours up since mine is all arrogant and bastardy. Yes, I have the drawer glasses. Um, okay, so it's gonna be a nice uh, golden, golden color. Yeah. Golden cloudy color with a decent amount of head. You do smell like a rose scent, yeah, but it's nice very, very. You get that nice hoppy burn on the nose. Mm. Yeah, straight off a lot of hops. It's wow. interesting. I don't. It's not as hoppy as yeah. like the Hoptimum. This. It's 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 very citrusy, but clean and crisp, and I mean, but there's a huge bite at the end of your tongue. I mean, it's just like, quah. it's it's almost like taking a bite out of pop, like you're chewing a. Uh, I taste the citrus at the beginning. Um, at the, in the middle, I get a little bit of a smoother malt feel to it. Not so much in the coffee sweetness characteristic, but almost like the dry malt as if you're chewing on malt, like we were earlier today in your car. <laughs> um, yes, we do eat malt. Don't, don't ask. Um, anyway. <laughs> yeah. Those were fr from Franconia. Yeah, but yeah. Um, thanks for that, Dennis, by the way. No, that was Cam. That was, was it all Cam? Cam. Thanks, Cam. <laughs> your, your wife's very pretty, by the way. Um, anyway, uh, it, it, it kind of tapers off at the end for me. I don't really get the bite. Well, what okay, would you rate what it? would you? <laughs> Hi, <laughs> <BG>. <laughs> um, I'd probably give it about a three out of a six pack. It's definitely a sipping beer, um, but it would take me a while to drink those three. So, not a bad beer, you know, very delicious, but uh, and definitely something for the this the upcoming spring or for the upcoming summer months. So, uh, you know, I'm gonna give it a three out of a six pack. It would be a two, except that I feel like they did a really good job balancing all the flavors. I'm only, I would have given it a two though, just because when you say that it's a double IPA, I'm expecting something that's gonna maybe have a little bit more bite. The citrus in it though is fantastic, and but, I think they did a really good job with the flavors they do have in there. But to be fair, 
think about it, I mean, ha compare it to a regular IPA, it is definitely a lot more hoppy. Yeah, I guess, but think of like, for example, um, Decadent. Mm -hmm. That's supposed to be a normal IPA, but it ha I think it has more hop characteristics than this. You know what, with that being said, I think we're going to have to throw on the gauntlet. I think we're <laughs> going to have to do a review of like, side-by-side uh, side side IPAs. Oh yeah, we should have like the competition of the hop, the hoppetition. We should. Stay All right. Tuned. So, uh, you know, good ideas happen in this room. They do. It's the <laughs> editing room. But with that being said, go ahead and send us a few suggestions for IPAs that we should try side by side. Mm -hmm. Maybe we can get some really light ones and then some really, really heavy ones. ones. Like the Hopton Mump. You have to try that. It is a slap you in the face with your penis type of thing. I mean, it is. With it my is own up there. penis? Whichever. <laughs> Anyways, till next time, guys. Thanks for joining us. And don't forget to check us out. We have Facebook, and we also have www.beerbetties.com. We're on Twitter, and we upload episodes every Wednesday. So, uh, oh, and don't forget to buy a shirt or a thong, or buy your dog a shirt. Or if you're broke, just click on the ads underneath YouTube, and then you can get a dollar. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, till next, next time. time. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs>